Okay. Have you been woke fished while dating? Here's how to tell. If a dude describes himself on Hinge as a quote feminist, pay close attention to how he actually treats women. Um wait, can we just pause on the picture they chose? Just chef's kiss. Okay, continue. <laughs> Scroll down. Okay. I hate how she chose to open this article. I feel like it's completely irrelevant, but we shall continue. When I was about 17, I decided to go vegan. Parentheses, I was trying a lot of things at the time, including getting my nose pierced, which I considered a serious act of rebellion. Anyway, I mentioned my new veganism to the guy I was seeing at the time, and to my surprise, he seemed really annoyed. He responded with an uninterruptible lecture on the importance of supporting British farmers. I can still remember one of his appalled, patronizing texts, quote, Oh God, you're not going to become one of those vegan feminists, are you? I was confused. He hadn't come across like someone who hated vegan feminists. So where had this come from? I ended things a little while later, which prompted a barrage of texts from him with a lot of derogatory language. It confirmed what I'd begun to suspect as much as he'd reel me in with an outwardly woke persona. In reality, we were never going to see eye to eye. eye, to eye. I had been woke fished. Woke fishing, to put it simply, is when people masquerade as holding. Wait, wait a second, wait a second. I thought woke fishing was some they them misrepresenting their views before you date, so you could date. This is not woke fishing. This is you, like he didn't false advertise you change he noticed it and he was directly i mean i don't agree with his approach but he was very transparent and open about his views he's this is not a guy that was holding back his views he just saw something that he disagreed with it and as soon as he saw it he said it again i'm not agreeing with his approach but this is not work fishing right yeah yeah okay <laughs> no <laughs> and that's why it confused me it was like the opening of this um doesn't make a lot of sense yeah and um, i just in general find this poorly written anyways um woke fishing to put it simply is when people masquerade as holding progressive political views to ensnare potential partners a woke fish might may at first present themselves as a protest attending sex positive anti-racist intersectional feminist who drinks ethically sourced oat milk and has read the back catalog of audrey lord twice for those who don't know, Audre Lorde is a lesbian um, black scholar. Um, in reality, they don't give a crap. Or, as is often the case, they are actively the opposite in their personal lives. It's sort of like catfishing, but specifically with political beliefs. A lot of us have been woke fished. Maybe now, more so than ever. Crises such as the murder of George Floyd and the coronavirus pandemic have thrown societal injustices into even sharper relief over the past few months, and as a result, there's been a much greater emphasis on individual agency when it comes to the urgent dismantling of oppressive systems. It's no surprise that singles are now consciously choosing partners who are on the same wavelength as them, just as it's no surprise that others are adapting to circumvent this. Tom name withheld, 23, is from Bristol and has a lot to say about being woke fished. I remembered on my first stay with this guy, we spoke about racism in the UK. Over the coming weeks, we spoke about a lot about diversifying the curriculum and the issues surrounding the monarchy. It was all great. But then when we passed the honeymoon phase, oh boy, did this guy turn out to be something else, he says. The guy Tom was seeing was definitely not putting his words into practice. As much as he would talk about being progressive, he would laugh at racial slurs. It was like he was being a social justice warrior as a personality trait, but did the exact opposite. Relationships falling apart because of different- Wait, what did he do? Is this the same guy that made the joke or no? It doesn't tell you what he did. What he did was laugh at racial slurs. Well, I mean, come on, like, it could be funny if it's in a joke format, right? That's like crime to these people? Okay, fine. Yeah, it's a crime. I found that out recently. <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> because of your oh. video with James Lindsay? 
<laughs> yeah, James Lindsay. <laughs> wait, Guys, wait, can on. we just okay for context? Okay, okay. Uh, let's do okay. later. We'll, that we'll, was hilarious we'll later, because yeah. Atheist Republic was mentioned in that selected clip. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> you guys got a shout out. There you go. Um, so, relationships falling apart because of different differing beliefs is hardly uncommon. Research found in 2016, over 1.6 million relationships crumbled due to rows about Brexit. A more recent study from 2018 found that people are less likely to be romantically interested in those with political beliefs divergent from their own. It's clear that political beliefs are an extremely valid factor to consider when weighing up a potential partner. And if you're paid and if you've paid for an upgraded Bumble or Hinge account, you can ev even filter out profiles from certain political standpoints. But what about if you only if you only find out weeks or months after the fact? Um, my own commentary: the emphasis on valid. It's very. That's a key word. Like okay, he for me, that that, that that's mm. a key word. Mm. Um, do you have something to say? No, I just wonder, like, who, like, the genuine people who are woke fishing, like, pretending to be woke, um, to hang out, to have, why would they do that? Like, it, can, are they not enough women that are, or men? I mean, is it just men who do their woke fishing mostly? Or do women as, do woke fishing? As presented <laughs> in this article, they give three anecdotal, well, three anecdotal experiences of other people. In the beginning, was that author's own experience which doesn't seem to technically be woke fishing um yeah all of the examples presented in this article is, is men yeah okay. and the, the urban dictionary definition of woke fishing uh which obviously is not like official or anything but it says so that's that's official that ends super official every... super official yeah, uh yeah. specifically says woke fishing is when a man who is talking to a woman mm -hmm. starts asking her vague questions regarding progressive causes in an effort to determine her interest level and then mirror her responses. Okay, so if the woman was answering that, yeah, I'm super like pro-Trump or something, the man might have been like, yeah, oh, totally. I mean, for... so this is not woke fishing. This is just men trying to get laid regardless of whatever it needs to say. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> so whatever I could, whatever I need to say or do to get into your undies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah. that's what i was saying i will just repeat your view i will just mirror your view so this is yeah. not woke fishing because this, i'm pretty this, sure 100%. if these women if these women were saying like yeah i'm to I, I love trump or something like that they would be like yeah so totally me too right so mm -hmm. 